a universal welcome. Here is our dearest father principal, Reverend Father Robert de Souza, to welcome and address the gathering. Good morning, one and all. Dignitaries on the days, my dear parents, well wishers, staff, and my dear students, I extend a cordial welcome to one and all. This is a proud moment for each and every Indian citizen. I do not want to take long time, but extend a cordial welcome for this morning flag hoisting ceremony. We have with us our manager, Reverend Father Wilson White de Sousa, Mr. Augustine Rodriguez, the management committee member, Ms. Mrs. Balita Maskarines, the vice principal, Ms. Veena Ambrit, the PTC vice president, and PTC members, my dear parents, well wishes are there, we in big number, and my dear students, after four days we are out of the house. Anyhow, let's celebrate Jai Hind. Vijay Vishnu Tiranga Pyar, Janda Ucha Rahi Hamar. Abhi hum hamare maatri bhoomi ke samman mein janda behrane ja rahe hai. Aayye hum sabhi kadi hokar tiranga ka samman kare. I call upon the head boy, Aditi Desai, to invite father manager to unfurl the flag and also to escort the dignitaries to the flag post. So, I request you to hoist the national flag. Attention! Flags are not! Hello! and cheering her on to do well when she was trying. 
and for shedding a tear when she failed and for applauding her when she succeeded. Let us applaud the common man for stoically facing the flurry of omissions and commissions, of blunders by our present leaders, of the fury of nature, and for still having the guts to say, I love my India for what she is. Let us be thankful for the moment and make an opportunity to give back something to the nation. Let us, on this occasion, ask what we can do for our motherland and pledge to extend our help to the needy and fellow countrymen and women. Let us remember that each of us is an ambassador and representative of our nation, a partner in the progressive history of our motherland. Thank you and Jai Hind. जहां धर्म की आशा है सर्वोपरि ऐसा है मेरा देश हिंदुस्तान जहां देशभक्ति की भावना है सर्वोपरि हमारे स्कूल को यह तैयार है देशभक्ति पूर्ण गाने को हमारे समक्ष पेश करने के लिए
आपने क्या किया ये भी लोग भूल जाएंगे लेकिन आपने लोगों को कैसा महसूस कराया ये वो कभी नहीं भूलेंगे और ऐसे ही हर बार अपने बातों से दिल को छू लेने वाले व्यक्ति ये हमारे प्रबंधक पद विल्सन एल वाइडिस डिसोजा आइए उनके संदेश सुने रियली प्राउड ऑफ प्राउड टू बी बोर्न इन दिस कंट्री अ नेशन विच गेव बर्थ टू कैरिस्मैटिक लीडर्स लाइक महात्मा गांधी रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर वी आर अम्बेडकर सुभाष चंद्र बोस एंड सो मेनी एंड इट इज आवर ड्यूटी टू पे होमेज टू ऑल दो हैव लेट डाउन देयर लाइफ टू मेक द कंट्री फ्री फ्रॉम फॉरन डोमेन It was really a struggle. Our great leaders have faced to unite and to build a base for the development of the country. We must we must be thankful to a number of leaders, Mahatma Gandhi, for his charismatic leadership, Rabindranath Tagore for his patriotic songs. B R Ambedkar for putting a foundation for our constitution. Added to this, we have <coughs> special leaders: Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who helped a lot to unite our country under one flag. While we look behind, all the way through the fruitful years of attaining independence. Our country has made remarkable progress during the last seven decades in almost in all fields, which makes us hold our head high. The esteemed effort by millions of Indians during these years make our country one of the top developing countries in the world. Even though at present we are not to be called as a developed country. I am sure this credit is not too far for us to attain. Even in the midst of celebrating our Independence Day with pride and honor, many things haunt us. Even to be proud of this vast culture and diversity, sometimes these diversities may be a cause of imbalance or proper functioning of the country. Unhealthy disputes between states, a regional imbalance, and political instability are few internal challenges which have to be tackled on time. The financial and the security of the nation, which includes terrorism and economic crisis, makes us think to plan and reinforce monetary mechanisms to face these challenges. One of the global challenges of the world faced today is the inhuman acts of terrorists. Our country also became the victim of several ter terrorist attacks, but the real intention of these, and it is proved to be failure, as the people of India stood united to fight against these anti-human activities. the determination of the people to stand hand in hand for the security of the country is a good example of how the citizens keep the we feeling in mind while going through the early period of freedom struggle it really creates a feeling in our minds the commitment and unity shown by the great men as those people were so ambitious we too should have a strong heart and a committed mind to fulfill the national goals of our country so on this very special occasion i request each one of you the future citizens of the citizen of india let us unite together for a common goal to uphold the values and make our country the best in the world again i wish you a very happy happy independence day jai hind jai karnataka gk chesterton a renowned english literary figure once said 
The human soul can enjoy a thing most when there is time to think about it and be thankful for it. Good morning everyone. Today we celebrate 72nd Independence Day of India. As we come to the end of this celebration, it gives me great pleasure to post the vote of thanks to all who have helped to make this program a grand success. My first word of gratitude goes to the Almighty God. He has blessed us with the privilege of living in a free India where there is room for every idea and opinion. I thank our dear father manager, Reverend Father Wilson Elvitus D'Souza for giving us this opportunity and guiding us in making this event memorable for everyone. Thank you, Father, for sharing your ideas and words of wisdom and advice with us. We assure you that we will earnestly reflect on them and put them in practice. I thank Mr. Augustine Rodriguez, School Management Committee, and Mrs. Veena Amrit, PEEC Vice President. Thank you, ma'am, and sir, for your presence. Events like these are opportunities. Helping is grown in knowledge and respect for our motherland. Our heartfelt thanks to our principal, Reverend Father Robert D'Souza, for his support and allegiance. I also thank our dear Vice Principal Ma'am, Mrs. Belita Masturini, for being a catalyst who genuinely cares for us. My sincere thanks to the teaching and the non-teaching staff of LCA. From the planning to the execution of this celebration, you have guided and supported us. Thank you for all your efforts. Last but not the least, I would like to thank the entire student committee community of the Ludite family for being such an exemplary audience and putting together a great program. As I thank each one for making this event an event to remember, I call upon each one of us, let us work together independently to take India to newer and greater heights of excellence. Jai Hind.